And my name is Christopher Kevley. I live in Uptorard, which is about 20 miles west of Galway City. I am 81 years old and I have blood cancer. My trouble started in, a, in January when I wanted to take my old vintage Land Rover for a run. And I'm afraid I opened the garage door, I didn't secure it properly, and a sudden gust of wind blew the door, hit me in the back and really hurt me. Very early on the next morning, Dr. McConnell phoned me and he said, Christy, come down, and I have a letter here for you to get into the hospital. I'll get in there as quickly as you can. Early in the morning, this cheerful doctor came along and he said, Christy, he said, I have bad news for you and I have good news for you. The bad news is that you have three broken bones in your back. You also have a cancer that's in a blood cancer that's making your blood brittle and easy to break. But he said, the good news is that we can cure 90% of it as it is. And the other 10% won't bother you for the rest of your life. We will monitor it to make sure that it doesn't come back. Some days later, this man came along and he introduced himself as Professor O'Dwyer. And he said that a wonderful uh, breakthrough and they felt that it would benefit me very much so. But it was a trial and I would have to sign up for a trial. So he told me a bit about the trial and he asked me, have you any questions? Well, I said, well, really, two questions. One will it cure me. He said, yeah, remember, it is a trial. We're given no guarantee. I said, two, will it do me any harm? He said, we have a wonderful team of trial nurses and doctors and they will monitor it and make sure nothing goes wrong. I said, sound? I give me your form and I'll sign it off. Oh, hold on now. He said, it's not that simple because it's not everybody that's suitable for a trial. We have to do a series of tests. Now, over the next week or so, I had a lot of tests. And then this morning, those two nice ladies appeared at the foot of the bed and they said, you're getting on the trial, we want to sign you up now and uh, we'll take it from there. So clinical trials are really the only way to determine whether a new treatment is, is first of all, safe and secondly, whether it's, it's effective. So we can do lots of um, work in the laboratory. We can think that a new treatment is effective, we have some idea that it's not going to be toxic, but until we actually put it into patients, we don't know for sure. But now we have a lot better ways of determining activity before we get to clinical trials. Frequently now in clinical trials with better targeted treatments, we are actually seeing evidence of significant benefit at the very earliest phases of, of clinical trials. I think that uh, the, the, the patients, you know, uh, you know, need to realise that our motivation in putting them on clinical trials is not to use them as guinea pigs, but to try and provide them with the best treatment options that are available. And of course, in, in the course of a clinical trial, patients are very, very carefully monitored. If we see that they're not responding as well as we would like or that their disease is starting to get worse, well then, of course, we take them off the, tre off the particular treatment and put them onto something different. There is a, a very important, I suppose, bi-directional or two-way street between the research lab and, and the clinic. So yes, drugs start out in the laboratory. Um, they're sort of, I suppose, invented in the lab. They're tested initially in the lab and then eventually they make their way to a patient. But, but sometimes, you know, when a, a trial is being done, we learn important lessons from how the patient responds to that particular drug um, that uh, we can then bring back to the laboratory to help you know refine that treatment further and so you know it's a, a constant sort of two-way process and you know i'm happy to say that you know here in galway that we are actively involved in that type of so-called bench to bedside and bedside back to bench research that uh, we call translational research. As the weeks were passing, I was feeling an awful lot better. I was getting stronger. I could sleep without uh, painkillers or sleeping tablets, and I could drive in safety. That was a great, a great blessing. After 10 months, they told me, the doctors told me in October, that 90% of my cancer was cured, and they'd work on the other 10%, and uh, they'd monitor it and see what they could do about it. So. What I say to you is this, if you are lucky enough to be offered a trial, grab it again with both hands and thank your God. I know I prayed an awful lot to Our Lady of Block in the last year, a lot more than I did for the last years, for the last eight years of my life. 
So what I say to you is the truth. And I hope I've helped you. <laughs>